Hey guys, Ultraman52 here. Welcome back to part two of the massive video game pickups video. So now in this part we're getting into the last one, two, three, four, five PS3 games and the rest of the games in this update are nothing but PS4. It's all the PS4 games that I bought. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, first game, also got this from Scott. I like playing this game series just for the fact that it's fun and whatnot, so. And that game is Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, yes. Um, me, I just love playing the Lego series just because they're very, very fun. They're just great, you know, games that you don't take seriously. And you just play them really just for the fun of them. You don't play them for the story or anything like that, in fact. So, yeah. I do intend to get all the Lego games, at least, because, uh, just like I said, they're fun games. Uh, I do know that there's a new Star Wars film coming out, The Force Awakened, and I might see that, I don't, I don't know. I think there will also be a Star Wars game based on that, sorry, a Star Wars Lego game based on that movie, so, cool. Next game is from the company that shall not be named, because quite frankly, they're not even worth my fucking breath. And that game is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh yeah. Super fun game, hence why I'm covering up the name of the company that shall not be named, because like, like, like I said, they don't deserve my fucking breath. So yeah, very cool. Got the, uh, the disc with the company's name on it, they will not name. Very cool. <sighs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, me, I love some Metal Gear. It's awesome. Um, I do intend to get the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection soon, at least. Um, if I can find that complete, anyways. Because it's really hard to find that thing complete with the art book and the slip cover and everything. So hopefully I get to find it soon. Because uh, I love me some Metal Gear. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Okay. Next game is uh, one from Bandai Namco. And um, Bandai Namco makes a lot of really good RPGs, by the way. Um, and so the game series I always want to try out, in fact, and it is the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, which contains Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. I believe that Tales of Symphonia was a GameCube exclusive, and I believe that Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World was a Wii exclusive. So pretty cool that uh, Bandai Namco jumped ship with with uh, Nintendo and started, started becoming a Sony thing. So yay! Um, personally, I don't think that uh, Nintendo should get any RPGs. Um, they're not just Nintendo. Just doesn't have the resources to make a RPG, let alone you know do anything with them because they're a family console, not a RPG fan console. So yeah. Uh, it is complete, but as you can see, there's no manual. Whether you bought the game brand new, factory sealed, or used, the game did not come with a manual. Other than that, yeah. I have not played this, so I have no thoughts on this, so yeah. The next game is <laughs> from the same guys who made the Blaze Blue series. We have a visual novel. X Blaze Code Embryo. This is, like I said, a visual novel and it's apparently a prequel to the popular Blaze Blue series. So, but very, very cool. I am uh, only on, I think, the set, no, the, the, the third episode, excuse me, of the, of the series. And pretty cool. I'm going to get a little ad here. A little ad here for. A uh, little ad for Guilty Gear. Third X sign, pretty cool. I do intend to get the Guilty Game, Guilty Gear games too. And on the back of that, we got a little ad for available now on the Vita and PS3, Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasm, which is an awesome name by the way. So yeah, this is complete, like I showed you, and uh, very cool. There is, there's one scene that is hilarious as shit, and also uh, like, wow, like visual novels are getting like really, really like steamy now. There, there's a part where. Um, I'm gonna show her off. Where the main girl, whose name is Is, I think her name is her, and this girl, who I believe is like the best friend of this character, who is the main character. <clears throat> There's a part in the game in episode two where those two girls are showering each other, like showering together, and um, uh, the girl with the glasses is commenting on how big um, 
uh, Issa's breasts are and whatnot. And it's like, wow, that's wow, okay. Uh, but twenty dollars, I think that was a good spend dollar, good uh, twenty dollars spent. But it is rated M for for mature for blood, partial nudity, strong language, and a f suggestive themes and violence. So yeah. But thankfully, the breasts were covered up via soap. So, yeah, a lot of really like weird stuff happening in this game, truthfully. <sighs> okay, so next game in the series is another game from the company that shall. Uh, I can't talk from the company that shall not be named. I got my hands on the Zone of the Enders HD collection, which contains the demo for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. So very cool. Very cool. I've only been playing the first game of this series, and so far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm kind of stuck on one part, though, but other than that, it's a pretty fun game. Of course, it is complete. So, name right there, too. There we go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just really pissed off at uh, Konami. Oh, I said, I said their name, but uh, you guys know who I'm talking about, regardless. But I'm really pissed off at them because they've just been screwing over their fans, like, significantly with game after game after game. So I'm going to probably get all the Silent Hill games on the PS3 and all the Castlevania games on the PS3 and just say, fuck Konami, because I'm just going to boycott every single one of their fucking products until they get their shit together. Now we get on to all the PS4 games. Here we go. First game is was originally a launch title for the PS4. And it is Knack. I have not played this yet, but from what I've heard, it's surprising one of the very few times a good launch title game. It's a uh, platformer, apparently. Uh, plays in a style of like Ratchet and Clank or whatever, from what I know. And yeah. No manual, but uh, I believe the game never came to the manual, so the controls are right there. But pretty cool. Next, I uh, got this from Josh for 10 bucks. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost. I do intend to collect all the Call of Duty Ghost games just for the storyline, just for story-wise. But, uh, yeah. I have no say on Call of Duty. Other, other than this game opens at the end opens up for a sequel, which should not happen, honestly. Um, just no. <laughs> yeah, complete. So, yeah. Although, I do like the uh, alien mode they gave, they gave this game. That was... Pretty cool. Next game is a next game is one that also came from Josh. Uh, he got me a copy of Bloodborne, which I am enjoying thoroughly. I absolutely love this game. I'm, I might do a live stream of this pretty soon. Not 100 percent sure though, but this is made by the same guys who made the Dark Souls series. So prepare for salt. The salt will get real in this game uh, and whatnot. So yeah, kind of like how the salt in League of Legends is real. Mm-hmm. Um, it is complete, but it does not come with a manual, because I believe it never came with one, even if you were to buy the game brand new. And get a little ad here for The Order 1886, which here was a pretty okay game, and Until Dawn, which essentially is a, plays almost exactly like Heavy Rain, except it's a horror game. So think of a, so think of a horror movie version of Heavy Rain. So, but I do want to play me some Heavy Rain, because I have not played the game entirely yet, and they also do really want to play on you know, that Until Dawn game, because it just got released too. Okay, now we're getting on to the final three, and these are the final three fun, fun games that, that I love to play. Uh, first game I did, a, uh, my most recent live stream I did, this was the game that I did for my most recent live stream, and that is Akibus Trip, or Akibus Trip, Undead and Undressed. Very, very fun, weird, silly game, just incredibly weird. Just, I love this game so much. It's so much fun. And here's something that will blow you guys away that's going to shock the shit out of you. Please note, yes, it comes like with the manual, so it's, so it's complete. But check this out. Are you, are, you, are you guys ready? Full color manual. Oh my god. Full color manual. Holy shit. I have never seen a game on the new consoles nowadays that has a full color manual. That just, holy shit. <laughs> Thank God for Akibus Trip. Oh my God, this is amazing. But yeah. Okay, next game. This was a, a game that I did on a more previous live stream before I did the Akibus Trip game. Well, you guys know what it is. I bought this game, I pre-ordered this game brand new and I enjoy it for, for what it is, honestly. And 
and it is the PS4 game of Godzilla. Oh yeah, finally got this game in hand, and I'm loving the shit out of it. Um, I can see why a lot of people dislike this game, because it just doesn't play good, um, or whatever. Uh, I enjoy the game for, for what it is, not for what it's supposed to be, not for what it's, you know, supposed to be like a A-plus game or whatever, but I just enjoy the game for, for what it is. Uh, also, by the way, no, no manual. I did pre-order this game, so, yeah. But I enjoy the game for, for, for what it is. Um, I think it's, I honestly give the game about like a 3 or a 3.5 out of 5. It's a fun, enjoyable game, just don't, just, you gotta take it, you know, not expecting like something like Call of, like Call of Duty or whatever. Just play it for the fun. So yeah. And final game and final PS4 game for this update and this video is a game. Well, <coughs> Corey was the one that got that got me in, 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 into the buying this actually, and I have no re regrets now. It is the Banana Split Limited Edition of Onichan Bara Z2 Chaos in the big ass box. Oh yeah. Now what the Banana Split Limited Edition is. Is that it includes an art book, a music collection CD, and bonus downloadable content. And basically what the bonus downloadable content is, is it's just a costume for, for all four girls. And essentially what the costume is, it is them wearing yellow boots, long, like high, like high knee boots, uh, a banana, where their vagina <laughs> would be, and um, strawberries on their nipples. That's it. Everything else about them is nude. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's a hack and slasher game. Kind of like Bayonetta or whatever, which by the way, I love Bayonetta. Um, very combo oriented. But other than that, it's, it's very, very, very cool. Um, this is a. Uh, I think the first couple games were on. Yeah, the first couple. The, the first game in the series were released on the, on the PS2. But they were only available in Japan and Europe. So if you were in Japan or in Europe, you got to play the games. If not, oh well. But uh, I, got, I know that one game came out here on the Xbox 360 here in America. One came out on the Wii here in America. And of course, we have this one right here. So I would say it, now a really cool part about this is that this edition, this big box edition, is getting really hard to find now. My GameStop that I live near, this was the last one they had. So I would say if you want to play a game that is really fun, very, very cheesy, and just awesome as hell, definitely pick up Onichan Bara Z2 Chaos. Uh, just awesome. Awesome, awesome. It, it is complete. So, yeah. Bought this brand new factory sealed. So I know. So as you can see. And it, ha and it has weight to it. So I do know that that is complete. But I am not going to unwrap the music collection CD. I'm going I'm to leave that sealed. So, yeah. Okay, that is it for this update and this video. Oh god lord. Now, um, like I said, this video it will be uploaded now. I re I'm, re I'm recording this right after part part one, so the week that you're seeing this is the, is the week after, so yay. I'm coming to you from, from the past. I'm gonna bring you back to the past and play the shitty games that suck ass. No, I'm not the angry video gamer. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned next week for the new apartment tour video and whatnot. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed and sayonara.